Hi there, this is just a quick video to demonstrate how to create a screen sharing option, how to download a little bit of software that allows us to share each other's screens uh, so that we can collaborate on a project wherever you are. So first of all, <coughs> excuse me, I need to go to, or you need to go to join.me and you'll get this option here. You need to move the slider over to basic and then press play. That will then download a little bit of software. You see in the left hand corner here, although um, it depends upon where which browser you use where this will actually show. I'm using Chrome at the moment, but you might use Internet Explorer. So I can go ahead and click this and then press run. And it will very quickly just install that little bit of software for me. And you get a little toolbar appear up here. So the first thing you need to do once this is installed is to actually share the link with the other person you want to share the screen with, perhaps me, perhaps somebody else. So you can click here and either copy the link uh, to a clipboard. You might want to do that if you're going to share it by Facebook or an instant message or something. Or you can just send the viewer by e email. It depends on what your setup is on your computer and whether you have an email provider set up. It might be Outlook. Mine is Windows Live Mail. So I could go ahead and enter an email address in here, send it off, and this will be a hyperlink that sends the recipient directly to the screen share. Another nifty little thing about this toolbar is it allows for you to share control over your screen. So once someone has joined this screen share with you, this um, when, once you click it, you will get a drop down of names or a drop down list, and then you would select whoever you want to be able to control it. If you change your mind and you don't want them to be able to control it anymore, you can just take away that permission and turn it back to grey again by clicking it again, or you can let somebody else have control. Even if you've shared control with somebody, then you can still move your mouse as you would usually be able to expect to. It's just that they can do as well, but your control trumps theirs. Another really useful tool about this, um, I don't really like having to handle my mobile once on the computer, while on the computer or a handset. So if you want to be able to have a hands-free call through the computer, you can use this option. You can join the call, connect, and then the person at the other end needs to, to, to join it as well. You are the first caller in the conference. I'll actually disconnect that for now. Uh, but once they join and if they connect as well, then you'll be able to speak through the computer instead of bothering uh, with a phone or something like that. So I think this is a really useful tool to help us collaborate, even if you're quite a long way away and we can't sit down in front of a computer together, we can still work on this together. If you have any questions or you think I've missed anything out, then please let me know, send me an email or just respond in the comments below. Okay, bye for now.